Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's bright and early, daily discipline, mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching or mentoring. Let's talk about this battle, this eternal battle that we're all engaged in, that we've heard about. They make movies of it, write stories about it, songs about it. The battle between heaven and hell. That's a, a good song by Rodney James Dio, Heaven and Hell. I always like that tune. The battle between heaven and hell is a battle between love and fear. There's only two emotions. There's only two mindsets. There's only two opinions. There's only two forces of energy. Just two. This is the yin and the yang. There's love and there's fear. That's it. Heaven is associated with love. Good is associated with love. Fear, that's associated with hell, with evil. Evil is fear. Good is love. That's the battle. The, the idea of God and the devil. God is love. The devil is fear. The Lord of fear. It's a battle. It's this eternal battle for this thing called your soul. What the hell is a soul? We can't even figure it out. The soul is defined by three areas. Your soul makes up your mind, your will, and your emotions. That's what your soul is. This is the internal struggle for your mind, your will, and your emotions to capture you, to enslave you, to keep you in a perpetual state of fear or in a perpetual state of love. You can choose, you have free will. The idea of free will is interesting because it's the one area that God doesn't have control over us. You get to choose, just like God gets to choose. He has free will, and so do you. You even have the free will to not believe in God, to go and turn to the dark side. You're completely free to do that. It's interesting that this God character in this book that everybody loves called the Bible would give his creation free will and then punish his creation for for choosing wrong if you didn't want me to choose wrong why don't you give me a choice it's a weird dilemma it's a test of faith and of fearlessness and that's who makes it into heaven that's who receives the love of God is when your soul is is right now there's this battle between heaven and hell and the battle is over your soul. Evil, the forces of fear, are absolutely trying to capture your mind, your will, and your emotions. If you notice that the media, they play to your fear and your outrage. It's easy to take somebody who's angry, they can make you angry. And anger is an aggression with adrenaline attached to it. But I can make you angry, manipulate you and make you angry, <laughs> even if you didn't want to be. And then take that state of anger and mold it. I can mold it right into fear. Anger is really just fear. We can get to the root, like peel back the layers of an onion. And I can talk to you for 20 minutes about why you're angry. You can be angry about anything. Doesn't matter what you're angry about. And we can find the root cause of that anger to be fear. Any psychiatrist could do this with you. It's a simple practice. You could do this with yourself in five minutes if you are open to talking to yourself, listening for answers. The media is capitalizing on your fear. Fear is what motivates people to vote. The reason why you voted for Donald Trump was because of fear, and the reason why many of you voted for Joe Biden after Trump was because of fear. So, we see this battle being played out literally everywhere. You may see it at work, you may see it in your relationships, you may see it on television, you may see it in the books that you read, you see it everywhere. All battles can be reduced simply to just love and fear. 
who's going to win this battle for your soul? You have free will and you can choose anything you want. But if you're being manipulated, are your choices yours or are they someone else's? Are you being strung along? The next time you're really afraid, how do you identify fear? Fear can be identified as depression. Fear can be identified as anger. Fear can be identified as negativity, negative thoughts. Fear can be identified as all kinds of things. When you identify fear, you want to counteract it with love. Or at the very least, recognize that you've been captured that you're enslaved. You're really afraid of the future. You're enslaved. You're really afraid of global warming. You might be enslaved by a corporate agenda. You're really afraid of Donald Trump and racist, fascist, neo-Nazis taking over the country. You may have been tricked by a corporate media with an agenda. Every time you're afraid, you want to start thinking about who has me, who's got me locked up right now, who's trying to fuck with me, who is trying to steal my soul, where is the devil? That sneaky son of a bitch, where are you? Where are you, devil? One of the ways to be fearless of evil is to confront it directly. You look it directly in the eye. <laughs> And a lot of times, fear will recoil. Fear is incredibly weak. People give it so much power. You give your enemies so much power. You give what you're afraid of. You, you, you make what you're afraid of an object, and then you become afraid of that object. Almost like you worship it. Not all worship is, is love. Some worship is fear. You could absolutely worship a god out of fear. And then you have to question, who are you worshiping? You may be worshiping the devil. I'm not trying to promote religion. I'm not a religious person. I'm just talking in religious terms to prove a point. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. And you have free will. You have choice. You have the ability to control your own thoughts. You have the ability, ability to slightly detach from your emotions so they don't control you. You can be the master of your soul. Nobody can steal that from you. I mean, they can, I guess, if you let them, you give it to them un unknowingly, unwillingly. But the more conscious of this game that's being played upon you, the more you know about what your soul is and the ability of your free will, the more you know about the eternal struggle that's gone on since the beginning of time and will go on long after you're dead, long after your great grandkids are dead, this battle between good and evil, heaven and hell, God and the devil, it's happening within us and around us at all times. And it's not so difficult to navigate. It's not that difficult to stay good, to stay in a realm of love. But it does take a conscious choice you have to actually exercise the free will that God gave you in order to stay on a positive path, in order to stay away from fear and away from the devil. Because if you're unconscious, if you're walking around blind like some brainless idiot, like most people are, they turn into sheep, slaves, food for thought. <laughs>